the relationship of energy is directly related to the entire development process of human life. The use of energy has been increasing in the world as a result of increasing population and modern lifestyle. Each and every country has been using renewable and non-renewable sources of energy in order to address the increasing demand of energy. From environmental point of view, all sources of energy are known by environment-friendly clean energy and dirty energy that can have adverse effect to the environment. The traditional energy such as timber, firewood, and the sources of energy such as petroleum energy, atomic energy and coal are known as dirty energy. As these energies are adverse from environmental perspective, they are known as dirty energy, which have occupied a large share in energy supply. Although more energy can be obtained from large-scale hydroelectricity project, on the basis of its effect from the loss of forest and land during construction phase of project to effect on lowland after the construction of big dams, it is known as environmentally unfavorable source of energy. The atomic energy which has been the major source of energy in industrial countries also emits greenhouse gases. The gas explosion in Bhopal of India a few years ago and the disaster of Fukushima in Japan two years back also showed the fact that this source of energy is highly precarious in terms of disaster. Energy is also a cart of development, but it should be clean and environment friendly. Sources of renewable energy such as solar energy, biogas, hydroelectricity are clean energy because these energy do not bring negative impact on environment. According to the data of International Energy Agency, by 2040 AD, the demand of existing energy will increase by 56%. By this time, demand of energy will increase about 90% in poor countries like Nepal. China and India, using 10% energy of the world in 1990, are using nearly 24% energy of the total energy used in the world now. But the main source of energy supply of this increasing demand has been dirty energy. Without access on clean energy, the improvement in lifestyle in people cannot be possible due to lack of modern information technology, education, health and growth in income. Clean energy is possible only through renewable energy. As service of clean, sustainable, cheap and effective energy is achieved from renewable energy, it can get success in work of poverty alleviation and development. According to International Energy Agency, 160 crore people in the world lack access to electricity now. 100 crore people are not getting to use proper electricity service. About 300 crore people are not getting to use service of modern energy for cooking rice and doing other productive works. This way, World Health Organization, that is WHO, has the data that the death of 20 lakh people is taking place due to gas coming out of traditional energy. About 23% of the total population is in the developing countries. The use of energy has increased as a result of urbanization and increase of vehicles. To address the demand of energy, these countries have also increased the use of dirty energy. In these countries, the use of atomic energy, coal, large-scale hydroelectricity project, petroleum products is increasing. The use of traditional energy is about 80%. 
the use of energy creating unfavorable effect to the environment has increased an effect of climate change. Carbon dioxide emitted in high scale by industrial countries is among the main cause of climate change. But its greater effect has been in the less developed countries. The sources of energy having unfavorable effect to the environment is used more also in South Asian countries. The direct effect of climate change created due to the growth of environmentally unfavorable energy is also prevalent in South Asian countries. The studies of United Nations Environmental Program, UNEP, ECMOD, and American Geophysical Union have also shown the greatest effect of carbon dioxide emission on South Asian countries like Nepal, India, Sri Lanka, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Bhutan, Maldives, and Bangladesh. As a result, negative impact has begun to show in the sustainable development of these countries. Clean energy is related with all eight goals, including in achieving Millennium Development Goal as declared by the United Nations in 2000. Keeping this fact in mind, United Nations General Secretary Ban Ki-moon had started the campaign of Sustainable Energy for All in 2011. In this campaign, the goal is to ensure global modern energy service by 2030 and to increase 30% use of renewable energy. The United Nations has laid strong emphasis on clean energy right by declaring Sustainable Energy Year 2012. At the same time, it has also declared 2014 to 2024 as Sustainable Energy Decade. Kyoto Treaty has provided opportunity to sell carbon through clean development mechanism and to promote clean energy in the developing countries by developed countries. Although having tremendous potential of renewable and clean energy resources such as hydroelectricity, solar, air energy in Nepal, it is still dependent on traditional biogas and imported biofuel. In the present condition, through the use of energy, greenhouse gas equal to 58 lakh tonne carbon dioxide was emitted in 2005 AD. While increasing 91%, 1 crore 12 lakh tonne carbon dioxide is supposed to be emitted in 2030 AD. Minimum Emission Development Strategy According to World Partnership, at present, the source of traditional petroleum product, hydroelectricity and renewable energy is being used in Nepal, out of which 87% traditional energy, 10% petroleum product, 2% hydroelectricity is used. The use of alternative energy is just about 1%. Even if Nepal does not produce more carbon dioxide, Nepal occupies the fourth place in the world on the basis of risk of climate change. Especially the rapid rate of melting Himalayas, known as sources of water, is increasing. It has increased the risk which could affect the overall development of Nepal. In Nepal, supply of clean energy can be carried out through construction and promotion of hydroelectricity projects. But as the increase of snow melting of Himalayas, the source of clean energy can fall under crisis. Like Nepal, 
other least developed countries of the world are also facing crisis in terms of climate change. Developing countries are facing problem due to the emission of carbon emitted by developed countries. Thus, the voice and movement that the developed countries should provide adequate compensation to the developing countries is going all around the world. The sustainable solution of this problem is also the use of clean energy. As the chair of the group of least developed countries, Nepal has been raising voices on effect of climate change and about compensation to be given by developed countries of the world in various international assemblies and World Assembly on Sustainable Development 2012 in Brazil. The Sustainable Development Assembly held in Rio de Janeiro of Brazil in 2012 has also focused on the issues to increase access to clean energy of sustainable development of the country. At present, 118 countries of the world have made policies relating to renewable energy. However, single endeavor of only other countries suffering from climate problem due to emission of carbon by developed countries is not sufficient to solve the problem. It is necessary to lay strong and forceful emphasis on the use of clean energy by all concerned. Hence, keeping in mind the increasing effect of dirty energy and demand of clean energy in the world, one month global campaign has been launched through civil society from 11th October 2013 to 11 November 2013, focusing on energy. This campaign has conveyed messages such as to prohibit new energy projects unfavorable to the environment and to end government grants and other assistance given to environment unfriendly energy producing companies. The message like end the energy supply of big companies and used by intellectual persons and to make reach of universal access of energy in mass to mobilize and direct public finance and transform people through collective and decentralized renewable and clean energy system immediately is also transmitted. In this campaign, activities such as organizing rally, assembly, meetings, discussion, exchanging electrical messages through social networks like Facebook, Twitter, and disseminating information extensively through mass media are being carried out. In Nepal too, one month long campaign was held organizing different programs on the importance of clean energy from civil society and non-governmental organizations including RRN and others. The basis of sustainable development which we are seeking for is in fact the promotion of clean energy. Therefore, it is necessary that we focus on the promotion of clean energy and not dirty energy. With our endeavor, it can help save the existence of Earth, the common habitat of all animals and vegetation, while the sustainable development that we imagine also becomes a reality.